Every time you hop into your car or turn on a light switch, you're using energy. We use energy for transportation, our homes, stores and industry. Add it up and it's no surprise that we're spending a lot of money on power consumption. That's why when a company can offer a better way to conserve energy, they can get a lot of people's attention. You know, more than half of their operating budget is consumed by energy costs, whether it's electricity or uh, natural gas. Uh, energy represents more than half their operating costs. So if you're trying to manage your budget, um, year after year to keep your building competitive or to keep the costs low for your unit owners, then you have to turn your attention to energy costs. I mean, there's no other way. Even in an environment where energy costs might not be going up, you're still under pressure to um, uh, do more with less, as they say. So, um, you know, you have, to, you have to look at energy costs and uh, and uh, constantly find ways to reduce those operating costs. I mean, that's just part of what a business manager does. So. Saving money is a great incentive, but using too much energy leads to negative effects on the environment, like air pollution. The push is on worldwide to fight global warming, and energy conservation is a big part of this movement. Well, today I think what we're you know what we're seeing in the marketplace is uh, a real. Uh, a real urgency towards um, conservation because of uh, its, you know, because of the effects of global warming. It's uh, the effects that fossil fuels have on our environment, um, and a lot of uh, customers. Um, you know, we see this a lot in in the new construction area, uh, where a lot of developers are looking for uh, new and innovative ways to green up their building, basically to find ways to use less energy. Um, less fossil fuel energy in, in, in their buildings. So uh, that's, that's the driver and, and you know Canada and North America I think is fair to say uh, is, is really behind, behind the times a lot of uh, you know other countries and a lot of uh, other areas in the world are, are much further ahead than we are. But, so the primary driver today is really uh, global warming. As important as the environment is, cost is always a factor to most businesses. The saving can be quite substantial to a company that does an energy audit. Still, even with a risk-free return on investment, people are hesitant to make the move. We do see time and time again that customers can save anywhere from 20 to 40 percent on their energy costs. Um, you know, obviously the ones that can save the most are the ones that are doing the worst job. Um, but uh, there are uh, significant savings to be had. Uh, the challenge always uh, seems to be in two areas. One is, you know, they, they can't necessarily afford to make the change. You have uh, customers that find that their equipment is working. To them, it's all about replacing the equipment when it breaks down and less about, you know, energy conservation and saving costs. They haven't gotten to the point where they appreciate the fact that replacing the equipment will save them money. A great partner in the conservation movement is all three levels of government, each with a number of incentives to encourage change. Tax breaks and rebates can be a big motivator for the potential customer to buy into a program. There's uh, incentives uh, uh, really all over all over the place. There's incentives from local electrical utilities, from local gas companies, the Ontario Power Authority has incentives. There are, are uh, incentives at uh, all levels of government, uh, you know, uh, all levels of utilities. Uh, so there's lots of money out there, there's no, there's no question about it. Uh, it's targeted at, at specific action items, so certain customers may not, you know, meet the requirements. North America is playing catch up in the conservation movement. That leaves a lot of people not taking advantage of proven technologies and business models. Meaning there's a lot of opportunity in the market for businesses who offer conservation products and services. There's no question that there is a, a, a big need in the marketplace for energy conservation services. Customers throughout the province are looking for new products, new, new ideas. They know that they have to green up their building. They know that they have to do something in the area of conservation. So they're, you know, they are looking for products and services related to that. Big Fish Video Productions.